Volcanoes are formed when magma forces its way up from the mantle layer of the Earth. It finds its way up through weak spots in the Earth's crust, generally at the boundary layer between different tectonic plates. Once there, the magma pulls into a dome or a magma chamber. The dome then grows in size as more and more magma collects, and as a result, the surface of the Earth above it also begins to bulge upwards slightly. There are generally two types of volcano which can be formed. The first is a cinder cone, which looks like a conical hill. It's nearly symmetrical and can be part of a much larger volcanic area. The eruption that comes out of a cinder cone may be quite dramatic and last for up to 20 years. However, the cinder cones generally only erupt once in that specific location. When the magma that's gathered at that location runs out of the force, the area above the magma then cools and solidifies, meaning it's no longer a weak spot directly above that point. When the magma later on grows again, find a new spot to find its way to the surface and form a new cone elsewhere. The other major type of volcano is a stratovolcano. These volcanoes erupt many times at the same point, and each time the volcano erupts it builds up layers upon layers of strata or material on the slopes, increasing the volcano size over time. In a stratovolcano, the central vent where the volcano last erupted erodes and weakens both from above and from below, until the plug of rock that's actually sealing the magma in can no longer resist the pressure, and another eruption follows, much like when you've got a fizzy drinks bottle which has been shaken up and you release the cap, the volcano erupts. These volcanoes which generally are the most dangerous due to some of the specific factors involved in their creation. The pressure beneath a plug can build up to such an extent that it results in an explosive eruption where the volcano blows its top, or more usually actually its side, throwing rock and lava great distances and causing a great deal of destruction. These dangers can be magnified if you've got what it calls a fountain eruption, and if it, that's vertical, that then suddenly collapses, creates a pyroclastic flow where the hot gas and rock flow down the sides of the volcano, maybe at several hundred kilometres an hour, destroying almost everything in its path. The other major risk is what's known as volcano bombs, where large lumps of rock are fired like an artillery shell, from a, normally from a side vent in the volcano, and again they can travel several kilometres from the volcano. The risk actually from the lava itself as it pours out of the volcano isn't generally one of the bigger dangers, since although it may start fires and destroy property, it generally flows at a relatively slow speed, meaning that most of the time people can actually avoid it. So that's volcanoes. And if you're wondering what the difference between magma and lava is, magma is when it's underground, and lava is when it's made, way it's made to the surface. For lava, think ava lava -nch. And that's what we get lava flowing down the sides of a mountain, just like an avalanche, lava coming down the sides of a mountain.